box is on an inclined plane and is attached by a spring to a wall. I will assume that the string or cable attaching this and the pulley are all very light and we can ignore those masses. Our job is to figure out how far the spring actually gets stretched until this reaches equilibrium. Now remember, equilibrium is another way of saying that nothing is moving any longer. Let's remind ourselves, in this case, we're going to assume that there's no friction. So the force pulling this down the incline then is going to be force gravity x. Okay, and since we're going to be reaching equilibrium, we're going to say then that the force of the spring is going to equal force gravity x. And no motion will be occurring, so I mean, we could say force net equals zero and set it up that way. Or we can just think that these two would then be equal to each other. Okay, well, let's put some information in, okay, for the angle and for the box and for the spring. Okay, so the spring constant for this example, okay, it needs to be known, and it's equal to 52 Newton meters. The mass of the box also needs to be known, and it's 27 kilograms. And the angle theta here also needs to be known. And theta is equal to 25 degrees. Again, this first example, there is no friction, so we'll use this uh, simple way of doing it. So the uh, force of a spring is uh, kx. So we're going to say 52 times some unknown value x, how much is being stretched. Now x is going to go this way, how much the spring is being stretched. Okay. It also just wraps this way. Whatever distance the box moves is the distance the spring will be moving. That'll equal force gravity x. Well, force gravity x is mg sine theta. So then we'll set equal to 27 times 9.8 times the sine of 25. Okay. And then just solve for x. We get a value of 2.2 meters. That works well for the uh, the no friction. Now the second case we want to look at this, and then we'll say that now there is a coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0 0.10. You know how does that you know change the situation here? Well, the box is trying to go this way. Okay, and the force of the spring again is this direction. Okay. So the force of the spring is preventing the box, or trying to prevent the box from moving. But friction also, okay, would be opposing that motion. So we'll say force of friction is going this way. So now if nothing is moving, the sum of these two forces is then going to equal force gravity x. So friction is actually helping the force of the spring. So our equation is going to look like this. Force of the spring plus the force of friction is going to equal force gravity x. Because again, nothing is moving here. So again, we'll say kx for our spring is going to be 52 times x. We don't know what distance it's going to go. Now, force of friction is going to be mg cosine theta mu, because we're on an incline. So I'll go plus the mass, which is 27 kilograms, times 9.8, and then we'll say times the cosine of 25. Now we need to multiply that by mu, 0 0.10. That will equal mg sine theta. So 27 times 9.8 times the sine of 25. Okay, now we'll expect x to be a smaller value because friction is also opposing the motion down. It's kind of helping the spring. And indeed, it comes out to be 1.7 meters.